Listen to Bridges, welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Ernest. And usually we have this table set up for top tens. Like if we're doing top ten toys, something like that. Usually for the unboxing videos, we don't actually go full blown and grab the table out, but I figured, hey, why not? It's, e it's easier for you guys to see what we picked up. Steve, this is my third day in a row here. What am I doing? I know, right? It's crazy. I gotta get on highway to get to your house. Did you see the snowstorm out there? Yeah, we're in Michigan. It's spring. Not here, though. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Like, I actually have to worry about getting to work tonight. <laughs> yeah, it, it's that bad. Because the, the other day it was snowing and the roads literally iced over. So pretty much from my house to the highway, it was just a sheet of ice. Whee. Yeah, so I got to drive like 10 miles an hour for about a good 15 minutes before I got there. Ridiculous. But anyways, we got some stuff in recently. Arn has acquired a few things. I got a few things for the 3,000 sub video that we're going to be putting out. So if you guys are watching this, these will be the figures that will be coming out of the 3,000 sub that I picked up. So you guys will get a little bit of a heads up of what's going on, Super. But you want to start with what you picked up? We'll save mine for last. Mine's special. Yeah. Except for this thing. Because Arn is... Actually, we'll start with this. Because we got this. <laughs> right here, which I know has brought some stuff in, but what's in here is a bunch of Kenner alien action figures, which we have quite a few. Also, what's funny is Arnaz grabs some, and then I also have some in the other room, which I've come to find out I actually don't own this guy. I used to have him. I don't know where he went. Wait, wait, wait. Yay! He's clapping! <laughs> well, there's quite a few in this box, and I'm probably going to actually go pick up some more of this paycheck for myself, because I realize I have to go pick up a Manus one now. But we're going to probably do a separate video of that, maybe even do a top ten, just show them all. Yeah, there's a lot there. Yeah, there's quite a bit. We almost have the set. We can't find the leader alien. We might have to just go order that guy. <laughs> yeah, which, other than the Queen play set, he's the next one where it's like you don't want to pay for it. All right, first, this is Walmart exclusive, man. Zeno! This is big chip! It's the Walmart exclusive version. Which, from what I can tell, there's not a whole lot of difference going on here. The well, only thing that's different is the box? Yeah, you just got a fancy box. It's big chip. He's got his clear dome. You can see the lines on the inside of it. So essentially, it's just like the isolation alien we reviewed with just a warrior lower body. Yeah, so that's why we're not going to open it. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm not really planning on it on this one, especially since it's an exclusive and there's so many freaking big chaps out there anyways. Yeah. Not really a point to open it up. Plus, the packaging's actually not that bad on this one. Hey, yeah, well, we're zoomed in. We're going to mix it up a little bit. <laughs> Arnaz, what is this? <laughs> it is a Toy Fair exclusive Futurama Leela. Why do we have this? Because... This isn't Giant Monster related. This is not alien related. No, well, I, the, okay, sorry. I guess it's kind of alien related. She's, oh, she's not an alien. She's a mutant. See how much I've watched the show? <laughs> <laughs> I know the I'm My Own Grandpa episode, and that's about it. And I, I'm going to tell you this right now. We're not opening this. Because one outside of the box would not... Just like the figure itself of this is like 50 bucks. Yeah. Well, new in a box like this one, I don't know how much it is. The only issue is... She's loose, and I want to open it so I can put her back in there. Yeah, but she's actually still sealed, which yeah. is the crazy thing. Like, I actually thought this thing was actually previously open. But, uh, yeah, it's still it's still in there. Which, what this is, is the swimsuit Leela. Leela? Yeah, Leela. Yeah, there's a little <laughs> bit of description on the back here. Which, I guess, is another thing we're not going to open it, because pretty much value. And does, do we really need to open and play with the Leela action figure? Yeah, plus Steve's going to buy me the Zoeberg one and brand new in a box. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not that bad, Steve. It's only $360. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's super reasonable. Now, this one I have bought so we can have fun opening this thing. I'm about to turn it around. You Don't might, be shocked, people. You might be able to guess what this probably is. But what we have here is Pumpkinhead. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me, honestly. What alien collector does not have one of these in here, man? This is from the greatest movie ever. Pumpkinhead 3. Uh, I think this is Alien Resurrection. I could be wrong. Pretty sure this is the newborn alien <laughs> from Kenner. So it's another Kenner alien action figure. The only thing is, is uh, I don't know who really wants this. <laughs> <laughs> 
personally? Hey, hey, I paid eight dollars and you in a box sealed. What yeah. more do you want? Yeah. There's a reason why it's only eight dollars new in the box. <laughs> the old Kenner ones that don't look anything like aliens. Still cheaper. <laughs> still more expensive. It's freaking cray cray. But I guess we will actually open this one up for you guys right now. No, let's see. There's going to be one of those things on Super that goes on there. It'll just get a stupid amount of views. And you'll hate it. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. It'll probably end up on there eventually. Because we plan on doing a few of the Kenner aliens for when they decide to actually uh, put out their line. Which is coming out later this year. Yo! <laughs> the collectible. And he has a giant freaking hair on him. Ew. Oh. So, oh, God. His joints are like freaking looted. Eh. Eh. Also, the reason why we set this up like this is because people were complaining that they couldn't see what we were doing. <laughs> Holy crap, why is this thing so huge? What is this? <laughs> I don't know, but it's amazing. It's my biggest face hugger I got. Is this a face hugger? It's like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> like it's got webbing in it. What? I don't know if I could dome this guy. It's got a lot of nice details, though. Dude. Don't be jealous because that extra that. short tail that it has, you know? Yeah, he's uh, he's lacking in some areas. <laughs> he's uh, he's the Steve alien, I guess. <laughs> and then what we have... And then we got our newborn alien, which... um, Sadly, isn't very articulated. That's not true. That arms move. Man, the arms uh -huh. move. Do the legs? Oh, oh, there we go. They move. I got one just slightly shit. Oh god, I'm so scared right now. How long has this thing been in the box? Oh god, when well, the movie came out, I think 96, 97? Yeah. This was sealed brand new in a box, so it never been opened before. Yeah, and. Oh. The legs are articulated, but since it is super tight, oh, that is terrifying. I feel like I'm breaking a glue seal when I'm moving this thing. Hey, be careful my ultra-collectible rare, man. Yeah, so, uh, articulation-wise, it sucks. <laughs> but then again, it's, it's a kid's toy, which... Who wants to play with this as a kid? <laughs> I probably would I have. I used to have, like, I had this, the fish alien, or this, whatever they call it, the aquatic alien. Yeah. That one was <clears> actually <throat> pretty cool. Not once have I ever thought that I really needed the, uh, the newborn. Especially when I was younger. Nowadays, this actually makes it a little bit cooler, because... You actually got to see it in the film. Let's see if he stands by himself. Oh, this will be fun reviewing, Steve. <laughs> so, I don't think it's going to be a long one, to be honest. Hey! hey, hey. hey. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so the moment you guys have probably been waiting for is to find out what the heck is going to be our 3,000 sub video. Even though they'll read it in the title. <laughs> no, actually, I'm going to keep it out. It's a mystery. <laughs> Steve, if you put that in the title, it'll get more views. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure I am A-OK -okay just stating that uh, it's just alien figures and 3,000 sub special figures. Give you guys a little bit of a spoiler for this video. But people going to look at the geek chest, they're like, you guys only have 540 subscribers. We're What's special, that? damn it! <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys talking about? <laughs> but, ordered this off eBay. Got it used. Got it in a lot deal. So there's three of them inside of this packaging. And the funny story is, is the I paid a uh, hundred and fifty for all three of them, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Guy had free shipping, and I want to thank that guy if he ever actually watches this video, because he put he actually sent it priority mail, and I got it in two days from free shipping. Like he spent twenty five dollars on this thing to get it to my house. So thank you, buddy. You're amazing. You are awesome. Now let's hope that the insides are still pretty good. <laughs> Because if the stuff sucks, I'm going to be upset either way. I feel like Steve's going to stab me with this knife, so I'm going to back away. One's open. God, how much tape did he need? <laughs> I know the contents are fragile, but Jesus. That's one thing I did not see on here is the fragile part. Alright, we have another piece of cardboard. I'm going to put that inside the box. And... Uh, the boxes look okay. They're not like in the best shape, but then I got... First got these for 50 bucks a piece, but what we have here is Solar Shigokin Unit 0. Unit 2, which is actually one of the harder ones to get a hold of. And Unit 1. Alright, so the main reason I got these Solar Shigokin figures is I've been actually wanting... So the main reason... God damn it, everything. But anyways, got these guys as a thank you for you guys for... 
putting up with me not putting out the Kyoto review, even though I've had quite a few people request it. Been meaning to. We actually filmed the entire thing and it turned out garbage. So what I want to do is actually get some really solid Evangelion figures, which from what I understand, the Soul of Shogun line is really awesome. And I really love the Big O action figure I got in, so decided to pick these guys up over, say, the Robot Spirits or the Roll Tech versions. They're really heavy. Yeah, they're actually, there's die casting on them. Got these guys so that I can review them, and then I'll toss the Coyotes in with them to compare. It's kind of a make-up for that. So there will be three videos coming out for 3,000 subs. I don't know if I'll get them all, all at the same time, but I'll probably definitely start with Unit 1 and work my way up. Yeah, because there's no way we can do all three at once. Yeah, there's way too much to go over on these figures. But I'm actually going to open up here now just to make sure nothing's bad going on because I hear some stuff jingling around. All right, this one sounds perfect, so we're going to open this one first. Well, again, let's just go in my closet anyway. Oh, sorry. So I don't really you, care. You, you want to open this, Steve? Uh, I, opened up the, I opened up the Resurrection Alien. I'll let you have Unit 2. Even though that guy's like arguably everybody's favorite. Okay, that part's still sealed in the box like brand new. No, oh, he's missing a hand. Well, he didn't dust them. <laughs> oh, so they're really dusty still. There's the hand. There's the hand. So. It even comes with the little thing, look. <laughs> he sent everything. Yeah, he said it wasn't missing anything. All right, so I'm going to have to dust the shit out of these things, from what I'm noticing. But, there's Unit 2. Here's all of his accessories. God, feel that. This is literally all metal. I'll switch you. That's yeah, pretty cool. We got the shoulder pads, the umbilical cord, the assault rifle, the casing, and he never actually got out the entry plugs, so that's kind of cool. And then we have the giant particle cannon, a bazooka, and an axe. With the Evangelion logos, and he didn't get that stuff out either, so that's even cooler. And it feels like the stand is down here on the bottom. Yep, so we got the stand. We got the plastic for the umbilical cord. He never actually got these out either, so the display is actually fully intact too, so that's good. So, he looks like he just got these out and just set them up with some weapons and called it a day. So I really, really need to dust them, but for the most part, everything looks alright. Paint job's not fudged up. Once we get all of them out, I'll zoom in on them for you guys. We'll get out actually unit zero because that's the one I'm kind of afraid of the most right now. Shake it up so we can hear it, see. That does not sound healthy. So, I thought these would be a little bit bigger. Right, there's the card. Card looks fine. That one actually is open all the way, which is the weird part. There's his hand. Yep, so the hand popped out. It's a little more metallic blue than I would like him to be in the white areas, but... What you gonna do? But what you gonna do, brother? Everything looks fine. Everything's put away. There's the ah. Okay, so that's what was loose. He actually uh, yeah, he actually opened up one of the entry plugs for this one. This stuff popped out too. <laughs> All right, this one he actually had assembled. But we have the spear. Looks like everything's here. The knife. <clears throat> Tripod. Something go there that I'm not noticing. So here's the docking bay. Display, which is super dusty. We have the umbilical cord, which looks fine, just really dirty again. So I feel like something was supposed to go there, but I'm not noticing anything missing. I wonder why you opened this one and not the other one. Oh, uh, where's my mine? There's no N2 mine. Is that what's missing? That is what I don't see. Maybe outside the box. Oh, nothing on the floor. Oh, we might be emailing that guy. Because if it's not 100%, then uh, <laughs> show you guys. The Lance of Longulus, the sniper rifle, all the attachments. Alright, a little upset about that right now. See, now this one wasn't open. Yeah. See the one. Super dusty. Overall looks pretty fine. At least the hand wasn't popped out of that guy. Alright, so... 
Got his horns. Got his blade and swords. Yeah, see, this one's not open at all. Yeah. Weapon, display case, the candle case, the shoulder pads. That all looks there. And then his display, perfectly intact. So, I'm missing an N2 mine for unit zero. So, buddy, we're getting a hold of you. <laughs> See if you can send it to us, if you have it. Well, at least on a high note, the one that's kind of cheap is the one that I'm missing stuff, so. I guess you win some, you lose some. Just to give you guys a little bit of a better look at each of the units with unit one, which these figures are actually a lot heavier than I thought they would be, because I knew they had die cast, but I didn't think they would have to this extent. Yeah, because they're, they're all heavy. actually fairly heavy figures, which is something that's actually really cool. They all look really nice, really awesome. The only issue I really have right now from looking at them is for Unit Zero. A lot of the issues I see with them, white, the blues bleeding in with the white, so it's yeah. changing the color a little bit. But for the most of the rest of them, it looks perfectly fine. Accessories look cool. And now I just got to find the N2 mine or get a hold of the guy. It's not really that I would be posing it with the N2 mine anyways. I think that's where it sits on here, it's right there. And I'm not seeing it in any of the packaging, so... Because I was actually thinking about posing with the Longulus. So again, it not being here is not super distracting, but I still would like to get it if I can. Only thing I'm worried about is those things falling over and breaking parts, man. They're really heavy. Yeah, but that's why you got the stand so they hook into it. Which is actually probably how I have set up anyways, is I'll actually have them hooked up to these things. Yeah. Because it'll look cool if they were sitting in the docking base, so that's what I was planning on doing. But anyways, what figures are you guys excited about us reviewing? Especially these guys. Please let us know in the comment section below. If you want us to open it, I'll make them open it. No. Hear you me. No. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button. Subscribe, become a ranger today, and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.